Kesey's great new notion is a three-part ballet based on the mythology of the Northwest Coast Indians, with music to be written and performed by the Grateful Dead along with a full orchestra. For Kesey, it's a natural combination. It's, it's the same feeling you get about Alaska, that this is new virgin ore up here. This hasn't been exploited like Valhalla or all the traditional myths, but the myth is just as pure. The vein of this myth, mythic land up here is so pure, and, and this band is so hot. How can you help but want to get them together? Uh, they'll be singing dead songs forever, Uncle John's band and, and truck, and they'll hang around. But I think they are right now equal to the musical greats, and it'll, it'll never be known until they turn out a work of that magnitude. To sell the band on the idea, Kesey put together a charter bus trip for the Grateful Dead family to visit the Laluska Indian Foundation in southern Washington in the shadow of Mount St. Helens. This is why I wanted to get them here. You know, this is Mount St. Helens. The last time they played in Portland, you know, Mount St. Helens went off when, when they were playing Fire on the Mountain. I mean, they're that good. They're God's band. I am uh, the Kissinger. <laughs> but I, I am the daytime between these two tribes meeting. That meeting of what Kesey calls the Grateful Dead tribe and the Lahuska family included an impressive ceremonial dance presentation of traditional Indian stories using hand-carved masks. Apparently, the negotiations are going quite well. They said, I'm excited about it. I, I'd like to do it. I, I hope that, uh, that uh, it's one of those things that could, finds its way into reality. Uh, I think it's the kind of thing that I'm, I always look forward to a, a chance. I mean, just in the Grateful Dead, generally speaking, we look forward to a chance to get a chance to work with uh, Kesey and the pranksters and, you know, for, I mean, friends. As for the chief of the Laluskas, he respects Kesey for his portrayal of the Indian in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Uh, here was a real person with uh, problems, with a very uh, complex uh, sort of a character. So I think, I think it was very important, and I think it took a, a deep and very understanding man, really, to, uh, to do it that way. If it all comes together, Kesey intends to take the ballet to be called the Sea Lion on a cross-country tour. All you have to do is drop the seed of truth that this land and these people up here have in Des Moines, and it's bound to help the uh, situation a little bit, even relieve the inflation. <laughs> it has to do with spirit. It always has to do with spirit. Spirit is the currency. Bob Zagoran, Eyewitness News, near Ariel, Washington.